Hi, welcome once again to the Tinker's Workshop. Uh, as most of you already know, I've done a, a lot of different projects uh, with my 3D printer, and one problem I've come across uh, with working with the ABS plastic for my MakerBot 3D printer was you had to buy their plastic, and which came on their spools. Yeah, this is all well and good. It prints great. It's, uh, it makes nice parts, but the plastic is not cheap by any means. And so I sourced out uh, various different places to find cheaper plastic, which I did. And uh, the only drawback with it is the plastic is good, but the drawback is that the spools that the plastic come on don't fit the uh, MakerBot printer. It's simply the inner diameter of the hub of this spool is smaller than the MakerBot spool diameter. So what I came up with was this gadget, which I call the re-spooler. And it's made so that I can transfer the plastic off of this cheaper spool of plastic onto a MakerBot spool. And then I can put it onto the MakerBot and go ahead and print with it. So I'm going to go ahead. I wanted this to set up so you can see what this whole, this whole thing looks like put together. But I'm going to dismantle it here and then we'll reassemble it so you can see what all is in it and, uh, and get you going. So what's inside here is nothing more than aluminum tube. And on the end of it I've got a a quarter inch bolt that's an inch long and uh, so we'll dismantle that and pull the tube out the back here and there's our there's the spool and this is nothing more than aluminum tubing which is uh, this is the shorter one this one's six inches long with a uh, quarter inch hole drilled on both ends with a uh, nut and bolt on uh, mounted on both ends so on this guy here he's a little different and I can loosen this up and pull this bolt. And there we go. Same thing again, a quarter inch bolt, inch long. And I've got a little adapter in here. There's the MakerBot spool. You can see the difference in the spool's diameter in here. This one is much, much smaller. And so I'm not able to put it onto the spindle that, that the MakerBot has. So anyway, in here I had to create a... Uh, a special little uh, adapter and there's two of them in here so that it slides onto the this aluminum tube this one's a little bit longer this one's like an inch and uh, I'm taking it back six and a half inches long and uh, so this gets mounted on here like that and then the spool gets put on and gets put in here so this adapter ring this little ad adapter here is set up for the MakerBot spool so that it slides in nice and it spins spins real well and so this again is nothing more than a, a longer tube take that back this is the uh, <laughs> this is the longer one this is only six inches this is like looks to be about six and a half inches long so this is the shorter one and it's got again it's got a hole drilled on both ends with uh, quarter inch bolts uh, one inch long and then a nut that's just finger tight on it and then on the MakerBot spool, what I did here, let me run this off, is a carriage bolt that's two and a half inches long. And that's fed in there. And I, what I did was I drilled a quarter inch hole in here and then took a small file and flattened it. So I made a square hole instead of a round one. And then I took a, the two and a half inch, two and a half inch carriage bolt and fed it in from the inside, so the head is on the inside of the, car the uh, spool. And then I took a threaded rod connector, a quarter inch threaded rod connector, instead of a nut, and I spun this on. So now we got a nice simple little handle that, that uh, I can wind this around. So again, we'll re reassemble this. So we'll backtrack here. We start with the six inch uh, aluminum tube. We're gonna feed this through the back on, these, on this support here. This only got one support because you gotta be able to crank it on the other side. So then we put a, an adapter on here and then we'll bring the spool in, the MakerBot spool. And then another adapter. Let me jump up here where I can get it in. There we go. And we'll put a bolt through here and the nut on the end. There. 
and that one's ready to go. So on this side, it's the very same thing. The longer, longer aluminum tube, six and a half inches again. And we'll put the plastic tube on here, or the uh, spool, I'm sorry. And feed this through. Oh, get it lined up. There we go. And then we go another quarter inch, one inch bolt with a nut. And again, these only have to be finger tight. So then I just take the plastic off of this spool. I got it all wrapped up here right now. I don't want to unwind it. But I'll take it and come over to this spool. There's a little slot in the uh, MakerBot spool here where it feeds in. And then take it and start winding it. And it'll go from this spool over to this spool. It takes about 10-15 minutes to transfer it over. But then I can use this MakerBot spool on my MakerBot and the cost is a lot less than the MakerBot plastic. Not saying that's bad, you know, it's good plastic, but why spend more money than you have to? So anyway, this is the MakerBot, uh, MakerBot uh, <laughs> re-spooler, I would say. And I'm gonna post the uh, information, more information about how this is all put together, the wooden parts and the dimensions on uh, the adapters and um, a materials list so you can see how it all goes together. So here we have a uh, computer image of what the wooden parts look like on the spooler. And the base piece here is nothing more than a 2x4. The red piece here is a 2x4 that's 15 and 3 quarter inches long. And attached to it is another 2x4 that is 9 inches long. And it's uh, nothing more than screwed into this guy. And in this 2x4 you have a 3 quarter inch hole that is an inch down from that top surface and then centered centered within two by four on the other side these two pieces are exactly the same again they're attached to the red piece with wood screws and uh, these are one by fours nine inches long again with a three-quarter inch hole that's an inch down from this top surface so you can run the uh, aluminum tubes through for the for the spools so there you have the spools, you have the, the aluminum tubes in. This is a six and a half inch tube again. And on the ends of, both ends of this tube is a quarter inch bolt that's an inch long with a nut. And this is just finger tight to hold that spool in place. On the other side, you have a six inch tube that is uh, drilled and bolted with nuts, both ends again. And then with the addition of these little red adapters, these adapters are so that the MakerBot spool doesn't bounce around when you're when you're cranking uh, from uh, the first spool to the the MakerBot spool, and so this makes it more concentric on the axle on the on this tube and um, it works out very very well. So here's the back side, show you where the the nuts and bolts are again. Again, these are just fed through and uh, finger tight. And it, it works very well. You don't have to crank them way down in order to hold them in place, simply because you want to be able to pull them apart. So here's the, the assembly all put together, just as you saw in the live video that I did. Um, this spool here, the green spool, has got a bigger diameter than the three-quarter inch uh, aluminum tube, which is no problem, simply because this spool can dance around a little bit, and it ain't going to take you any hurt because all the plastic's coming off it. This one here, the MakerBot spool, you don't want that to dance around. You want it to stay pretty concentric with that axle, that, that, that center tube. So that's what the red adapters are for. And then you have a, a carriage bolt that runs through the spool from the inside out, as I showed earlier, with a, a threaded rod connector. And that seems to work really nice. Then you run the plastic into a slot in the MakerBot spool. Start cranking on this. I put a hand on What I do is put a take my hand and, and kind of guide this guy this plastic and it keeps the put some friction on here keep the uh, tension on this line to the spool as you're cranking so you don't want to go too fast otherwise you're never going to get all the plastic on there it has to be nice and evenly laid down on this spool once you get up to the plastic where it's almost almost to the top of this thing you're going to be just about done here I normally feed most of the plastic off away from this carriage bolt just so I can unbolt this and slide that out because you cannot use you can't use this spool if that bolts in there but it says it's very easy to, very easy to do it's just you have to keep an eye on 
how how close the plastic is to the head of that, and uh, it, it'll it'll slide out. And I've done it a number of times, so it seems to work very well. So here's the drawing of the adapters that are in the spooler. And these I used, I, I made these up and printed them on my 3D printer. And it's nothing more than like a bushing. And, uh, and I, call it, I call it an adapter, which is, it is. And uh, so it's uh, three quarters of an inch thick total. The base section or this outer ring here is a quarter inch thick. And this upper ring is a half inch thick. The outer ring is two and a half inches in diameter. The inner ring is two inches in diameter. And the center hole that runs all the way through the part is 0.77 of an inch. And again, I, I model this up using a, a CAD software. If you don't have CAD, I think you could probably model this up using um, SketchUp. I, I would think you would be able to model it up with that and get, get something that would work for you. If not, find somebody that knows CAD. And it's just such a simple part to make. And uh, then you can make this adapter make the adapter work for you so this is this is one of the key pieces and uh, so uh, that's about it for the assembly and uh, I hope you have good luck with your 3d printing and and putting this adapter to uh, this spooler together for your 3d printer it's uh, saved me a bunch of money simply because I'm able to buy cheaper plastic which works just as well and uh, why why spend the big money for plastic uh, when you can re reuse the spools and uh, re-spool them, just as I've said here. So good luck and uh, keep on tinkering.